bing, 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 dum, dum, bum, 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 What's going on? I I just want to practice this video with don't watch this if you've got like any sort of photo sensitivity because there's like shit tons of flashing lights and I don't want to get sued out my ass. Thanks. Hey guys, sometimes crazy here. Back with another video. So I've not made a video in a while. Been you know some real life stuff's been going on, uh, but I'm hopefully back now. This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while, and it's pushing Krunker to its absolute limits uh, using the Krunker editor. So the first thing I'm going to push to its limits is the uh, size value of anything. So this is a Krunker cube, uh, and using some calculations, which I can ex I'll probably explain in the comments uh, or in the description, I've made a come up with a number which is approximately the size of a Minecraft world in relation to the Krunker character. So it's a different value to the 30 million you used to in Minecraft. So if I set both the axes to this, you can see this is insane. Krunker does not like this. It's rendering over my character. It looks like my character is not on the floor when he actually is. Moving him up here means if I spawn in, I'm actually going to fall a little bit, even though it doesn't look like I should. So I'm going to actually test play this now and just have a look at it. And okay, wait for it to load in. It's much quicker than you'd expect for something this size. It's not there, or is it? It is. It's so it's so broken. It's hard to render everything. It's struggling. Um, so I'd say this is <laughs> this is the limit of of these. It, if you make it any bigger, it will just disappear. Like like not like by one, but if you if you try to go bigger, it just disappear. If you try to go smaller, it stayed like sort of the same as what it's meant to be. So as you can see here, I've just generated some terrain on top of the map we already had. Uh, obviously, I reset the size that we had for this square. And I'm about to change the terrain in a pretty interesting way. So as you can see with the terrain, you can change lots of values about it. But the one we're interested in is you can change the height of the terrain. So I'm just going to change this height so that the change is reflected in the text document. If you don't, it just it doesn't show up because nothing has changed from the default. I'm just going to move my guy above the ground because if you don't, he will... You know, he, he'll teleport to the top. I don't want that. I want him to be on top of the square. Don't know why. Just going to export this. Um, with the height, I'm going to change this quite small. Negative 100. Negative 100. It's quite small. It's not insane. Um, and as you can see, things will be changed in a way that you, it's not really normal for a Krunker map. Just importing it here. As you can see, it's made sort of a valley. It's interesting looking, I'll give you that, and you don't really see it in Krunker Maps because this isn't a value it should go to. But that's not what we're here for. So, I've just changed it to negative 100 million. Negative 100 million? You want to see what that looks like? It looks like a clusterfuck. This is what it looks like. This is not what Krunker terrain is meant to look like. Suffice to say, I don't think anyone thinks it is what terrain is meant to look like. And if it does, are you living in a Minecraft amplified world? Like, I, where are you? Where do you see terrain like this? Like, I don't understand. Uh, okay, so obviously this is not what it's meant to look like. Right, I'm just going to import that now. The number I don't even know the name of is so big, and this is about what I expected. Something that you can't really figure out what's happening kind of like the cube um that we did before and yeah this is not this is not something that should be looked at i'm gonna step off of the cube we're standing on now and start to fall look how big the uh, standard crosshair is getting i think that's probably gonna leave the screen at some point it's getting so big i mean our hip fire aim is going to be completely destroyed if it wasn't already um looks like i'm going up at some points in this and I don't think I am, but I could quite possibly be. You know, if you if you are holding W as I am here, and you hit terrain in a, in normal terrain, you go shooting upwards anyway. So I could, I don't know why I'm hitting. I could be hitting terrain for all I know. Uh, so obviously things are a bit indistinguishable. Aiming is well, that's okay. Well, aiming is aiming. That didn't look very good at all. And as you can see, actually the bottoms of the map that you can see are starting to wobble and sort of go out of sync as what they're meant to be you can see it a lot here and that isn't yeah crunk is not having a fun time with this is it i 
Okay, I just generated some normal terrain, no weird negative terrain. Let's delete that cube. And here is our person again. And I'm going to be pushing ramps to the limit this time. So I'm going to get this ramp set up, and you see if you can guess what's going to happen. Because, I mean, ramps are ramps, and there's not much you can do with them. Okay, so just uh, loading the map, spawning in now. And as you can see, I've made a red ramp. So let's see if you guys were right. What did I do with them? And yeah, I set the boost to be over 100 billion. Yep, we're going so fast that he's pushing our guns back past our heads. The only way we see them is when we reload. Like, and that's only for a split second. Like, split, switch into my pistol and, and now my knife. You can sort of see the hands and that is not how a knife's meant to look. Actually, I kind of wish it did. It's a pretty cool animation, but it looks like he's spinning his knife around his hand. But, yeah. Suffice to say, with the terrain, I don't know where you are if this is normal. Uh, but this is quite clearly not the way things are meant to look. And there's a reason I'm doing this, because I'm on my profile here, and you can see that this is the fourth map I ever published. I published this when terrain first came out. This is... I think day two of terrain being officially released onto you know main client or main crunker as you can see I've already published negative terrain and it's very similar if not the same as what I did with the terrain I showed you today just set it to an insanely negative number I was able to publish it now as of late they've changed publishing rules and stipulations when you publish I think there's checks for these sort of things but I'm just pointing out that these sort of things have existed for a while and it's not just negative terrain. So I'm going to choose a map here called Walled City Extreme, which is a version of a map I made for a mapping competition called Walled City, where I made all of the ramps in the map uh, boost ramps. And I think you can see where this is going. So I just skipped the sporting process. There's a few different like uh, issues with it. Different servers weren't working, stuff like that. But I'm in here now. And as you can see, I made a ramp called the Ban Ramp. Now, it doesn't take a genius to work out what this does. This does... um. Yeah, it does, it does this. Now, I made a I made a sky dome for this. Um, so you can see the sky dome. Kinda, it kind of looks like an ender pearl. It's just sort of flashing below you. Uh, this is... Well, this is very high up. Uh, when you reload, it's not even showing your weapon like it did before. But yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Um, it's, as I said before, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, so sorry if this seems a bit disjointed. Let me know, you know, if you want another episode of this, because I've got a few different things that I could break, <laughs> push to the limits of, should I say. Um, I've got a few more videos planned to come out. Uh, I've got a mod and some other things. I've got a map I'm working on. Um, so, yeah, just, hopefully this should be a return. But with uh, the way that my job's going, it might not be. I don't know. I'm getting quite a lot more work than I was before. But, yeah, I really hope I'll see you guys soon, because doing YouTube is actually really really fun and I really really enjoyed it uh, so it's really shame for me to have to stop I didn't really like having to stop um, so yeah uh, again as I said before if you guys enjoyed it you know let me know if you want another part of it and I guess I'll uh, see you guys in the next video chicken wings chicken wings hot dog and bologna chilling with my homie